Hi and welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we share with you how to make chicken korma, an Indian inspired dish and uh, it's a very mild curry. We'll start out by making a marinade. So it's made of neutral yogurt, of olive oil and some lime juice. We're gonna just mix these ingredients before adding in the more spicy components of this marinade that our chicken is going to marinate in. So we freshly grate some ginger down into the bowl. We also add garlic and lots of it because that is going to give such a significant and great taste to the marinade. So freshly minced garlic down into the bowl. Combine well. And then we can go in with the spice. So we're going to add curry. So completely normal yellow curry. And we're going to add garam masala, which is this combined spice that's just gives so much taste and a significant taste to the chicken korma dish. We'll just integrate the spices well into the wet ingredients. And after that, we can take some chicken that we have cubed. We've cut it into cubes that are not too small because we still want somewhat uh, of texture in the chicken. We salt and we pepper before adding the chicken. So what we have here is just a really flavorful marinade. And the chicken that we're going to use for this chicken korma dish is a chicken breast. It could also be some chicken tender thighs or whatever type of chicken uh, meat you can find. And we've trimmed it so that we don't have any of those sinews or fat on the, on the chicken here. So uh, just make sure to, to really integrate the chicken into this marinade and then it's going to marinate in the fridge for 8 to 24 hours. So the longer the better, the more taste your chicken will have. The day after, this is what the chicken looked like for us and you're going to see later that it's actually really absorbed a lot of that marinade. We are going to cut some onions here really finely into these sort of boats. And we're once again going to prepare garlic, fresh garlic for the sauce that we're going to prepare. So we're taking a great big casserole with a, a thick bottom and in some neutral tasting oil, we're going to fry the onions. And they will give so much flavor and sweetness to the entire sauce. We're frying them at sort of medium to high heat at this point, but we are going to turn down the, the temperature of the stove because we do not want to burn the garlic when we add that. Um, we're going to add the, the garlic after some minutes. So we want the garlic and the onions to go nice and soft before then adding in the, the chicken that has marinated. So once the, the onions are translucent, we can add the chicken. We are going to let this fry off so that we get a surface on the outside of the chicken uh, pieces. Actually, the marinade was almost completely absorbed by the chicken, and that's perfectly fine. We do want some of the marinade in the sauce. That yogurt taste is going to be uh, significant. We can add, once again, some garam masala. So this spice that is also in the chicken marinade, uh, that's going to give a great taste to the sauce as well. And then we can add tomato puree. That's gonna give some acidity to the sauce together with the yogurt that is also given, uh, given this uh, acidity. And it's also gonna give a beautiful color to the sauce. It's gonna be this almost orangey color in the end. So once the ingredients are well combined and the chicken has gotten a nice outer surface cooked, we add in coconut milk and the coconut milk would be the saucy element, creamy, very, very delicious. It's a full fat coconut milk to say uh, the least, 18% fat. So don't buy a light version because then the result will not be as good. Put the lid on the casserole here and then it's going to stand here for 20 minutes on very low heat 
to just completely simmer away and to give that beautiful, flavorful uh, taste to the sauce. After the 20 minutes, it's all about just uh, seasoning with salt and pepper. It shouldn't need anything else. There's lots of sweetness from the onions. We have, as I said, the acidity from the, from the yogurt, from the tomato concentrate. So we shouldn't need anything else but just uh, salt and pepper. Once we are done seasoning, we can serve up the chicken coma. And what you see here is a delicious creamy sauce with tender pieces of chicken. So we'll serve on jasmine rice that is cooked to perfection. And with plenty of spoonfuls of this delicious chicken coma. And it's very common to serve with uh, freshly chopped coriander and uh, some chopped almonds without their skins. So here you have it, the chicken korma. It's world-class comfort food and uh, we just want to give you a little bit of an idea about how it, it tastes here. It's, it's, as I said, not so spicy. It's one of the milder curries of, uh, of India. And of course, this might be a little bit of a Western twist on the chicken korma. But it's a very easily realizable dish that anyone could make at home with simple ingredients and uh, it's just it's gonna really impress most uh, people i'm sure thanks a lot for watching mtv cooking we hope that you like this video and that you want to give it a like subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and we'll see you later in yet another video bye